Hi guys, so I've had so many messages of people asking me to do a makeup tutorial so I've done this look which is my go-to look so if you'd like to check my makeup tutorial video out then please go ahead. I just really put that on my t-zone where I get shiny. Flora's Fusion um, foundation um, and I always put it on my hand first before I put it on my face because it just goes on. I always find that um, if I put it on with a sponge it usually goes on better and it's a lot more coverage. foundation on my face with the sponge I was blended down into my neck with a brush because it's just easier to do blends better my foundation's a little bit darker than my skin now because I'm usually browner than this now, with concealers I always get such bad dark circles under my eyes and this concealer this is the Maybelline one I absolutely live by it it's thick and coverage I get it in the colour light and I'd never use another one to blending the concealer into your eyes you want to not dab it as hard as the rest of your face because you want it to still stay like a thick coverage to cover those circles um, when it comes to contouring I've been using this Fenty Beauty uh, matchstick in the shade Coca. Now I really really need this right now. I'm eight and a half months pregnant and I got a swollen chubby face so contouring is key. So I've put the banana powder on quite thick under my eyes so when I do my eyeshadow the um, droplets of the eyeshadow can be caught by the banana powder and it can just be brushed off. So I also put the banana powder on my chin and forehead um, along the cheeks here. eyebrows take ages to do so I skip past that bit because it's really not interesting um, and quite basic eyebrows so I'm going to brush off some of this banana powder from the bottom half of my face and my forehead but leave it on into my eyes and brush it off my forehead and then leave it under my eyes oh my god look at my bingo wings I'm going to leave it under my eyes whilst I do my eyeshadow because as I said the eyeshadow oh sugar will be caught by the banana powder because I've got blue eyes, um, when it comes to eyeshadows, I love to wear red tones. My favourite eyeshadow palette is this Huda Beauty Rich palette. Um, 
It's my go-to palette and I absolutely love every single colour. The first colour I'm going to start with today is this top colour and I'm going to use quite a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to brush that all over the top of my eyes um, and just use that as like a base. So I'm literally just going to brush that all over my eyes. You can't, oh god that's really heavy actually. The way I do my eyeshadow, like you can't be scared, I, I wear really heavy eyeshadow. Um, I think I forgot to clean this brush though, so it's gone on heavier than what I would have liked it to. But it's fine. I'll just put that on. Usually it'll go on a little bit lighter, um, but all I'll do is blend it in because it's gone on heavier than what I expected. I find doing like a smoky eye just much easier than a natural look. It's just my go to everyday look. Some people might think it's too much eye makeup. I don't care. Next colour I'm gonna use is this like red colour. I always start when I get like to the heavier colours from outside and make your way in. Um so just dab it onto the outside of the lids, just above well, just up to your crease line. I remember I'm not a professional makeup artist before people start judging me for how I do my makeup. This is just how I like to do my makeup. I do that like till I get halfway through my eye, like from here to here, halfway across. And then I blend it inwards um, and do the other eye. I like to do each eye at the same time just so I remember what I'm doing because if you do one and then the other, you forget. Well, I do anyway with this pregnancy cream. So now I've put the eyeshadow just on the outside of the eye. I'm going to blend it inwards. <clears throat> the key to heavy eyeshadow is blending. Um, don't blend and it does never look great. I just love these colours because they really make your eyes pop. Um, and then the corners, I'm going to use this colour in the corner which is more like a brown. And I'm just going to do like the crease of my eye with that, so just the outside and the crease, yeah. And again, just put it on a little bit. And then I'll blend it in with my big fluffy brush. And once that's done, you're going to want to get rid of all of the banana powder from under your eyes. Now if you look closely, all of the eyeshadow is being caught by the banana powder. So now I can just brush that off. And it leaves no eyeshadow mat under my eye. And then I'm gonna go underneath my eye. I'm gonna use this one again. Now when you go underneath your eye, always start from the outside and work your way in because otherwise you'll just look like you've got um, two black eyes. Now, inside eyeliner is a must. Oh, you look really attractive putting that on, don't you? <laughs> now, I don't usually wear this, but because I've got no eyelashes on right now, I've usually got semi permanent eyelashes on. Um, I'm gonna put stick on lashes on and I feel like stick on lashes always look better when you've got some liquid eyeliner on the top of your eye so I just do a really thin line across the top like just a little flick you don't want to do it too heavy I don't know how I'm gonna do this on camera as well 
these um, makeup artists on YouTube, when you watch their tutorials, they make everything look so easy. But it's really hard to do your makeup into a camera without pulling stupid faces or covering your face up. So when I do my eye my eyeliner, I always start on the outside of my eye. And I start with a flick. I do a flick like this and then I sort of colour it in. So I do it thicker on the end and then just a little line. My eye. See the way it's like the, out the outline of where your flick would be. And then I colour the flick in. Now I'm going to put some mascara on before my eyelashes. Now even mascara, I've got this Too Faced Better Than Sex but I only really usually wear it on the bottom lashes because I just don't wear stick on lashes or mascara. I've always got individual false eyelashes on. So lipstick wise, this is the only lipstick I ever wear, it is a Maybelline lipstick, it's the colour Smoky Rose and it's just the perfect colour for me, it's, I've worn it for years, I absolutely love it, it's quite cheap as well. So there you have it, that is my go to makeup look. Um, I hope you guys like it. It's quite heavy for a daytime, heavy eye makeup, but that's what I like, it's what I'm good at. Um, so maybe I'll do some more of these videos, I don't know.